Hi, my name is Kevin Kendrick, and I'm the Vice President for Global Security at Dow Corning. As the Vice President for Global Security, my job is to ensure the overall safety and security of all Dow Corning assets. That includes people, places, processes, and information. It's a full-time job. My staff and I respond to a number of situations impacting our facilities and our people by mitigating the risk uh, in a forward-leaning fashion. I came to Dow Corning after a 30-year career in law enforcement, uh, beginning with the Wayne State University Police Department in the mid-1970s, followed by three years with the Detroit Police Department, and finishing up with 25 years in the Federal Bureau of Investigation, including special agent, supervisory agent, and uh, retiring as a special agent in charge of our office in Charlotte, North Carolina. My day starts a little early. I typically get in at about 4.30, 4.45, get my workout in, everything gets started at that point. Finished my workout and uh, on my way to my desk now in order to check in and see what's going on around the world. One of the first things I do when I get in is to log on and I check my email first of all. I want to make sure that things are uh, okay in Asia and Europe and by checking on uh, early it gives me an opportunity to respond to any potential issues that are that might be uh, brewing in those, those geographies. We have a, a fairly significant part of our employee population that travels, and we go to places uh, sometimes that are uh, somewhat risky. We do everything we can to protect employees while they're traveling, but also in monitoring global events. If there's a civil disturbance, if there's, if there's a natural uh, disturbance, earthquakes, uh, volcanoes, we try to notify our employees uh, in a timely manner so that they can take the steps necessary to protect themselves. Um, we have a very aggressive uh, travel tracking system and uh, we monitor this travel tracking system frequently. And if we find out that we have people traveling to some of those locations, uh, it gives me an opportunity to um, get in contact with those people to advise them of brewing situations in those geographies. So it's a, it's a fairly comprehensive system that allows us to keep our people safe. At Dow Corning, uh, our employees truly, truly are our most valuable asset. I know it's, it's something that's said in a lot of companies and in a lot of settings, but it's one that I found to be completely true. One of the things that we've implemented here in order to afford a greater level of security to all of our employees is workplace violence mitigation teams and they consist of senior officials and employees in all of our facilities whose job it is to identify uh, potential workplace violence uh, events and take the appropriate steps to mitigate those threats. Any company that has intellectual assets or information assets, a large portion of their portfolio uh, is derived from intellectual property. So protecting those intellectual uh, assets is, is a major concern of mine. It's been a wonderful transition for me. It really has been because the work I'm doing is not that far removed from the work that I was doing in the FBI. Uh, in both situations, I got to work with uh, very talented people, very bright people, uh, and very innovative people, and people that are committed to what they're doing. And when you work in an environment like that, uh, it's difficult not to succeed. So Midland is a really neat place, and, and I am privileged to participate in a number of volunteer opportunities. Well, this was a gift from uh, the kids of the Saginaw Boys and Girls Club. I received this in December of 2008. All of the board members received uh, just a, a gift from uh, the children of the club and um, it was it was heartfelt and I will treasure it for the rest of my life and keep it here in my office just to remind me of the kids. 
As a member of the Boys and Girls Club, I feel as if Dow Corning has given me the opportunity to provide a positive impact on, on children uh, that are at risk. The Rotary Club does a wonderful job in uh, promoting cultural activities uh, and the prevention of polio and other diseases um, throughout the world. So it's a privilege to be associated with them as well. My wife and I are also participants in uh, the Midland Center for the Arts. Well, we are at the Midland Center for the Arts, and this is the second of four dress rehearsals that we're going to have for Peter Pan the Musical. What was that? This is uh, something that I got involved with last year. I truly enjoy this. It's a way to give back to the community, and it gives me the opportunity to work with some very talented people from the Midland area. So that's my day. I hope you enjoyed it.